Breadboards are overrated. Um, so this is my setup. I'm working on my spindle. Uh, I wanted to do a motherfucker. All right, so uh, torpedo heater's done. All right, so I forget where I was at, but this is my spindle setup in progress. Uh, so what I have here is a Hall effect sensor that I mounted onto my new spindle adapter setup. So basically, uh, it's nine volt regular, and the the Hall effect will ground. So if we go past the magnet. It'll, it'll actually drop it down so this is how I'm going to keep tabs of my RPM uh, separate from the ESC has a, an RPM output um, RPM output but I you, you don't really know I don't really trust it yet so plus I think it's it outputs per pole and it doesn't do the math for uh, indexing However, that would be kind of whatever. Being a 12 pole motor, it'll output 12 signals, so it's kind of like a built in encoder if I go that route. Um, so, yeah, that's my, my cool little setup. And it's this little sensor's not going anywhere, it's really, really tied in to. Uh, this bracket I made uh, just cut it out of aluminum with tin snips and uh, got a new phone too so focus autofocus is a little bit better um, but yeah let's actually go through a quick breakdown for fun um, this was just a real quick setup um, I found some scrap connectors the guy at work gave them to me because he knew I was playing with stuff so all of my stuff's going to be uh, plug in at the uh, the firewall per se on the enclosure, which I'm pretty happy about. So there's the setup. Again, there's a, a little magnet that I have uh, actually drilled into the bottom of this coupler, and I went through the bottom instead of the side, um, so centripetal force does not want to pull the magnet out because that's just not fun so there's that and then we have this is a a motor um that i've actually pulled all of the guts out which was a nightmare because i don't know if you've ever pulled a stator off of the outside of anything but you can see there was a lot of chiseling, a lot of prying, um, and like two days of recovery for my hands. So, <clears throat> we've got the plate. This is the, the, the mount plate. The screws will go down through, through the face and into the motor. And for demonstration purposes. So, then we've got the two halves of our coupler. One goes from the 916 of the Sherline spindle to 8 millimeter of the motor. And this will go down like so I promise it's a lot more on the sensor when it comes time and then this is my motor this is a 2800 watt motor um, it's an outrunner brushless and it actually this whole setup even though it looks really tall um, 
it's actually the same height as the old motor with the pulleys and it weighs a good amount less um, because I mean this case weighs you know like not that much probably about as much as the the spindle pulley and then you have your brackets and your mounts and everything like uh, it's it's a really a lot less weight so but yeah that's that's pretty much the gist of it I wasted enough of your time even if you've seen this far most people only watch like a minute because I'm boring but informative <laughs>